this section we'll be exploring the use of picking directly on the point cloud for positioning elements in 3D space. First, we'll go ahead and set our slice, our Z slice, so we cut out a section there uh, close to the ground. We're going to go ahead and zoom in. We're going to draw a rectangle in this area right here. First, we're going to turn on our work plane, and this plane shows us where our 2D lines are going to show up. I'm going to go ahead and insert a rectangle that represents this uh, piece of equipment. Place the rectangle and then rotate it in 3D space. When I rotate, the work plane turns solid so you can see exactly where it's cutting through the point cloud. Next, I'm going to go ahead and align the point cloud again so I can see where I'm placing the next slice. I'm going to go ahead and reset my clip so I see all the points. And then I'm going to place another slice higher in the Z so I get the top of the piece of equipment. And then I'm going to go ahead and view this from top view. However, I'm going to go ahead and raise my work plane first, represented by the green line that you see there. I can change the amount that I raise and lower the work plane every time I push the raise work plane button. So I'm raising it by a foot, so I raise it to the top of the piece of equipment. This raises the plane on which I'm drafting on. I'm going to go ahead and rotate into plan view, zoom in, and then draw the same rectangle but higher in elevation up the piece of equipment. So we'll click here, click here. So now I've placed the rectangle representing the top of the piece of equipment. I go ahead and rotate again. My plane turns solid, showing me where I'm cutting through the point cloud. When I exit out of this mode, I can clearly see the rectangles representing the top and the bottom of the piece of equipment. Now that I've got the uh, top and bottom of the equipment, I want the front and the back. So I'm going to go ahead and represent these uh, two rectangles um, by drawing them on the work plane that's aligned to the front. So I'm flipping the work plane to the XY plane from the ZX plane. So now I'm drawing an elevation. So I'm going to go ahead and align my view, zoom in, and draw my next rectangle. So when I reset my clip, I can clearly see the area where I want to draw the rectangle. So I click at the top and then at the bottom and set it in place. Again, rotating shows me exactly what area I've just drawn that rectangle in, and you can see it here in place. Next, I want to move my work plane back. You can see I'm moving it back as uh, delineated by the XY marker, XYZ markers. Again, when I'm rotating, you can see the plane's not quite there in to position, so I want to move it back some more. I want it back all the way so it's in place at the right area. Okay, align my view, zoom in, and then draw the next rectangle. Here we go. Again, rotate. And now you'll see that there are rectangles in all of the uh, uh, proper areas for this piece of equipment. Turn back to the world coordinate system. And now I want to work on this tank and draw an outline of the tank. 
So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my view and set my coordinate system again. And use this with the floor wall tool. Again, it's a great tool to set a UCS. I click on the floor, and then I click on the wall, and you can see the XYZ marker switch. And it sets the work plane right to the front of that tank. Then I'm going to set a slice. I want to slice right in the middle of this tank. There we go. Now I want to set my work plane on slice. So it puts the work plane, let me turn it on, it puts the work plane right in the center of the slice. This is a very nice tool to help you quickly orientate your work plane and your view so you can start your drawing of the tank in elevation. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw some polylines that represent the tank. Again, I'm drawing right in the work plane, right in the center of the slice, so I know exactly where this is being drawn. Go ahead and draw up the tank and over, and then connect my, my rectangle. Okay, when I rotate, the plane turns solid to show me exactly where it's cutting through the point cloud. Exit out. Return to my world coordinate system. And there you go.